Unexpected would have been putting it mildly. But even though I had no idea what was going on, I somehow felt that I was supposed to be here. Ugh, snap out of it! The Free Citizens, the Collective, as far as I could tell, two groups fighting for the hearts of the people. As for why they were fighting, that much still confused me. I just don't get it. I've disagreed with plenty of people before, but never enough that I felt like hurting them. It's insane! Maybe it was, but somehow I knew I had no choice but to fight. One thing at a time. Gotta keep going. those rats from the city. We've no need for any who refuse their given roles. They're lucky enough we allow them to speak such flim flam. They should kiss our boots for our largesse. Aye, they want for nothing, but still they protest. They may soon know the limits of our patience. I started to understand one of the two philosophies vying for the hearts of this city's people. The Collective believed that one should be content in their given role, and not dare to wish for a life beyond it. To them, that was happiness. I'd heard it before. I have no doubt the Matron of the Village would have been right at home among the Collective's ranks. To her, 
We were nothing but tools to be used in completing the tasks she wanted done. And tools weren't supposed to complain. But people aren't tools. They're not meant to be used at another's whim. Keep talking about freedom. That's just an excuse for layabouts who can't do what they're told. And who's gonna tell them? You? Who's this brat? You don't care if work gets done or not. You only care that others follow your commands without question. Watch your mouth, girl. If not for the Collective, you'd be begging for scraps off the floor. I wouldn't need to beg for scraps. Who feeds you, huh? Who gives you orders to follow? You're all just being told how to live your life without even thinking why. And you have the nerve to look down on me? I'll never lay down and take orders from the likes of you again. And soon, no one else will either. You just wait. You got a tongue on you, girl. That's right. And mine won't be the only voice you'll have to deal with. The citizens are waking up! And we're not gonna let you bully us around! Uh, I mean... See, this is what happens when you let ne'er-do-wells keep spouting their nonsense. It spreads! It's gotten more out of hand than I had imagined. We need to sever this festering limb before it corrupts our glorious city. We must quell the dissidents! Do not bend your ear to their heresy! Glory to the Motherland! Glory! 